Hello my dear students of third prep. أهلا بكم في حلقة جديدة من حلقات الساينس تحت رعاية وإشراف وزارة التربية والتعليم. حلقة النهاردة إن شاء الله we are going to revise all unit one. At the beginning هنشوف كده إحنا خدنا إيه في unit one. Unit one three lessons. Lesson one كان عبارة عن motion in one direction and lesson two كان how can you uh, draw graphical relations to represent many relations between the physical quantities and lesson three about the physical quantities and the types of, of them either vector or scale. Today هنعمل شوية uh, revision and uh, questions uh, about all the three lessons and be ready and let's start. First type of question we are going to start with it's MCQ questions. لازم نعرف إن ال MCQ questions بتقيس the understanding of our lessons. فلازم نركز كويس جدا and read the topic very well and then start to answer. Let's start. The first question here: write suitable word to complete the following sentence. The first question. The result of multiplying speed of moving objects by time. Tani, the result of multiplying a speed of moving object by time. Before answer this question, look to the sentence. I have here speed and time. Remember, if you have speed and time, you have to search for the third quantity, which is very good. I can hear that you answered. Okay, excellent. The answer is distance. Yes, if I have the speed and the time, look for and remember the triangle that the three physical quantities are in, in, the, in the triangle and then search for the missing one, which is the distance. The second question here, what is defined as the covered distance within a unit time? What is defined as covered distance within a unit time? Let's remember. If you want to answer this type of question, start to define the, the, the physical quantity and then search for the definition. Yes, the answer is speed. The speed is the distance covered within a unit time. Very good. The third question here, speed measurement units are Speed measurements units are. Yani how can I measure the speed? Hmm? Meter per second or kilometer per hour. Then next. The result of dividing the total distance that a moving object covered by the total time taken to cover this distance. Again, slowly, the result of Dividing. So put you in consideration that I'm going to make a mathematical relation with division. What is that divided total distance over total time? Very easy. Total distance over total time. So it's the average speed. It's what? Average speed. Okay. Let's move to the next one. Right scientific term that corresponds to each of the following statements. You know that the right scientific term, you have to know carefully all the definitions that you have. So the, the question will be the definition or any uh, physical quantity that you took it, and you are going to put only one word. Let's start. Number one, the distance that the moving object covers within a unit time. Distance covered within the unit time. I can hear you that to all of you, you define it. So the answer is speed. Very good. Number B. A moving object covers equal distance at equal period of time. Let's memorize. If I have equal distance and equal period of time, so very good. So it's a uniform speed. What is the other words or other scientific terms for this word? I can use regular speed or can, I can use constant speeds. All of them are 
are right. Okay, next. The total distance that a moving object covers divided by total time taken to cover the distance. Total distance divided by total time. Just with the pen and put total distance over total time. So what's the answer? Very easy. So it's average speed. Average speed. Total distance over total time. So the answer is average speed. The value of an object's speed relative to the observer. Here I have a keyword, which is the word relative to. So it's very easy. I will take the word relative and I will put speed. So the answer is what? Relative speed. Very good. Choose the correct answer. It's another type of the MCQ question, but you have to concentrate very well in the choose because maybe you have two or three answers are completely the same, but with the simple difference. So concentrate well when answer this type of question. Let's start. Acceleration is. Can you know the acceleration is? Can you define it? Yes. Yes, of course, you can define it, but let's choose one of the three choices here. Acceleration. Is it the change in the distance in unit time? Change in the distance in unit time? Or change in the speed in unit time? Or rate of change of distance relative to speed? Now, the word change may confuse all of you because the acceleration keyword is the word change. But here I have many changes. Either the change in the distance, can I said that, that, can I say that the change in the distance is acceleration? Or the change in the speed in unit time is acceleration? Or the rate of change of distance relative to speed? Hmm. Yes, it's the change in the speed. Let's remember, if I said I'm driving my car, I sometimes put my leg on the acceleration, and then sometimes I'm, I'm using the brakes, either hand brakes or legs brakes, so I reduce or decrease a little So here I change the speed. If I change the speed, so the answer is acceleration. Yeah, but if you have this type of question uh, uh, about acceleration, search for changing of speed and it's the right answer. Next type of question. Movement at uniform acceleration. In which cases we are going to say that the body move in uniform acceleration? Let's revise. Anna Hamshib uniform acceleration. How? Maybe sometimes I increase my speed or sometimes I decrease my speed. I use the accelerator, which is the benzene, Hazawut. So I'm increasing my speed. And sometimes I decreasing my speed. So here in this case, I'm moving with uniform acceleration. So let's choose which one of those choices is the answer. Movement is at uniform acceleration if. If the body or, or the object or the car speeds changes at equal value in equal time interval, يعني لو البدي أو الكار عمل change the speed equal values في equal time the answer شوف the answer اللي بعدها if the distance that the objects cover changes at equal value in equal time intervals هم فكرتين if the average speed equal the regular speed طيب عشان يبقى the question very easy will answer very easy here be only acceleration يبقى put in your mind if you have choices search for changing in the speed and escape all this, uh, the other uh, answers. Tab here, which one fiha changes the speed? Yes, of course, it's uh, the first answer. Yib, uh, very easy, عشان ما نبقاش confusing in cho choices بتاعتنا. أول ما لاقي كلمة acceleration, I'm focusing on changing speed. Then I start to read all the answers and then I choose the one which is concerning with the changing of speed. Next. Another type of uh, uh, choose, but here, relative to graphs. 
Which of the following graphs represents the movement of an object at constant speed? Let's before نشوف ال question memorize كده ال graphs أي graph you have two axes x and y axes and after you draw the axes you have to put the factors on the x and y axis and then start to read the graphical relation between mean and mean من the factors and then start to draw it. طب, let's see the types of graphs we have. We have the first graph between distance and time, all of them between distance and time. But the first one is with straight line parallel to the x axis. And متخيلة, now all of you, you answer each of them. And the second one is straight line passing with the origin. And I said, what's meant by the origin? It's the zero point or rest position. And the third one is curved line. Type, which one of those represent the movement with constant speed? Type, let's memorize what's meant by constant speed. Equal distance at equal periods of time. Equal distance at equal period of time. Tab, which one of those graphs represent what I said definition? Da? Hmm? Yes, the second one. Of course, the second one. Because each time I'm changing my time or for the first hour, مثلا, I'm covering 20 kilometer. And the second hour, I'm covering another 20 kilometer. And the third hour, covering another 20 kilometer. So if I put the points and start to draw the graph, I have this shape, which is one straight line passing with the origin. Very good. What is the physical quantity that both its magnitude and direction are necessary for identifying it? Yes, this part is the lesson three, which is about the physical quantity. Quantities. Let's memorize كده what are the physical quantities. إحنا قلنا قبل كده إن إحنا the physical quantities عندنا either vector or scalar. طب what is the difference between scalar and vector? Any physical quantity have magnitude only. What's meant by magnitude only? تاني magnitude يعني عندها number and unit. I can put a number and unit. Any physical quantity that have that has magnitude. Only is considered scalar, like, ma like mass, like uh, time, like speed, like a lot of examples that we took before. Type, if the physical quantity have magnitude and direction, يعني عندها number وكمان unit, but I have to add direction to the north, to the east, to the west, to my home, to any direction, so in this case, I will call it vector, okay? يبقى احنا كده رجعنا physical quantities, either scalar or vector with the definition. Like a vector, like acceleration, like displacement, like many physical quantities that you know it. طب, let's start and answer this question. What is the physical quantity that, bo that has both its magnitude and direction are necessary for identifying? لما اجي اشرحها او اوصفها, I have to put number and unit and direction. مش هينفع غير كده. Which one of them? Yes, vector quantity. Okay, next. The measurement unit of velocity. You remember the velocity? On the velocity is the same type of speed, but which have direction. The, if the speed has direction, I will call it velocity. يعني I'm traveling from Cairo to Alex here. I said speed ولا velocity? لا. لازم أقول velocity. عشان قلت direction which is from Cairo to Alex. I'm moving to the north, to the east, to the west. يبقى here it's velocity. Type I'm driving, I'm moving with uh, مثلا I'm covering 100 km per hour without mentioning direction. So in this case it will be speed. طيب let's see كده ال velocity ايه ال measurement units بتاعتها؟ Is it meter per second or meter only? or meter per second squared. As I said at the beginning, I said, sometimes the answers will be confusing. You have to concentrate very well when choosing the measurement units. Type, velocity, which one of them? 
meter per second. Very good. Tab, what about the speed? The same unit, meter per second. Okay. Acceleration measurement units, برضو again for the units because it's very confusing. طب هنشوف كده مش هن مش هن confuse ولا حاجة هنبص. Either acceleration meter per second or meter time second or meter per second square. Yes, of course, it's a meter per second square. يعني meter to the power meter per second to the power of two. You have to choose it because meter per second is the unit for speed, either speed or velocity. But the acceleration, meter per second square or to the power of two. Displacement is a vector quantity and its unit is what? Let's get a memorize a displacement. I said before that we have distance and displacement. What is the difference between distance and displacement? Distance or the actual length covered by the body. يعني أنا مشيت طريق to my home, to my office or wherever. If I can count or measure the actual length I cover it to my home, so it's actual distance or it's the distance. What's meant by distance? Actual length covered by the body. طب what is the difference between distance and displacement? Displacement by is the shortest straight line between two points. يعني برضو if I want to go to my work وأقول على ال distance أسميها displacement. So I'm moving in straight line from the starting point to the ending point. If I move in straight line, so in this case I will said it's displacement. تاب Shall we go now and see what are the units of displacement? Displacement is a vector. عشان لها direction. I said from point A to point B, يبقى عندي direction. Is it? So this is the definition of it. It's a vector. Vector معنا vector نها عندها direction. طب, what about the unit? Is it meter? ولا meter per second? ولا meter per second square? Here, أنا قلت حاجة غير distance يعني displacement هي distance but has direction in straight line from point A to B so the answer is meter only لأنها زيها زي distance but what is the difference that it is straight line between starting point and ending point the amount of the change in the speed in one second amount of change in the speed in one second. أنا واخدة بالي كده إن أنتوا خدتوا بالكم من الأنسر without putting the answers. Right. Here, في كلمة change, amount of change in the speed. So, I'm going to search for what? Yes, excellent. It's acceleration. طالما عندي changing in the speed, so على طول الأنسر is very easy, which is acceleration. Speed measurement unit is. Speed measurement unit it. أنا قلت ال speed definition بتاعها. If you have, if you can define it and you can write the rule, easy you can get the unit. تاب memorize كده with me. What is the definition of speed? It is the distance covered by the body per unit time. Distance with time. So the measurement unit of distance, either meter or kilometer. تاب what the measurement units of time either. Second or hour. So, tap نحطهم مع بعض كده ب pair because it's divided. So, let's choose. Is it meter time second or meter per second or meter per second square? Yes, of course, it's meter per second. The object moves at constant uniform speed. When? إمتى أقول البادي ده ماشي ب constant Uniform or regular speed. Here, كأني بعمل definition. إيه definition of constant speed؟ هنشوف كده. يبقى when it moves at zero acceleration. آه. ولا it moves at constant acceleration. ولا it covers equal distance at unequal time. Here, عندي شوية كده trap. بس أنا طالما I know quite well 
if I want to answer this type of question, I have to memorize in my mind in an hour of all definition were related to another physical quantity. Tani, I want to Here, had I only, tab, I can't answer it because there is no definition for the speed actually, which is an alpha in the uniform speed. It's the speed in which the body cover equal distance at equal period of time. لو أنا بتسرع وما بقرأش ال question كويس جدا maybe I feel trapped and I will choose the third answer which is cover equal distance وما كملش ال reading for full stop and then I will answer, uh, choose this answer which is wrong. ليه هنا بيقول لي equal distance at unequal is it uniform? No. So slow down and read the question very well until the full stop. Then, type. I have no another answer to clarify my, uh, to answer the constant uniform speed. لا, عندي. You know, previously, إن إحنا عملنا relation if the body or the car move with constant speed, يعني uniform speed, بيعمل أي change, يعني في أي acceleration? Of course not. I'm moving with uniform speed equal distance equal time without changing my speed so there is no acceleration so which one of those answers let's get a choose is it the body moves at zero acceleration well the body moves at constant acceleration well it covers equal distance at unequal time which is wrong hmm. yes the body moves with zero acceleration which is the right answer يبقى هنا عرفنا previously in if the body move with constant speed the other meaning of this uh, relation is the body move with zero acceleration مش بيغير سرعته خالص مثبت السرعة sometimes حتى لما بنبقى سايقين على highway بنعمل مثبت للسرعة وبنفضل سايبين السرعة ثابتة so there is no change لما بقول there is no change يعني zero acceleration it's very important question and sometimes they will be confusing but احنا مش هنتلخبط عشان نظبط تفكيرنا و ونحل بطريقه منظمه. Okay, the last question here, the amount of change in speed at a time unit determine what? Amount of change in speed يبقى الاجابه خلاص ايه؟ acceleration. طب let's go now بقى تعالوا نشوف another kind of برضو choose but in the shape of problems. Let's go and see how can we solve it. The type of من the questions عندنا. If I start to read the question first, I have to هجمع the data اللي أنا عندي. يعني هبص للproblem and then عندي the givens. I have to put it in your in my mind and I start to answer the question. First, كده. Let's go and see how. Read with me this problem. If a car A moves at speed 80 km, عشان the problem to be easy, try to get the givens حتى على شكل drawing بسيط. عندي car A. As this is the car A. Edgy car A. Number A. Moving with the speed 80 km per hour. يعني السرعة بتاعتها 80 kilometer per hour. This is car A. And I have another car B moves with speed 50 kilometer per hour. This is car B moving with 50 kilometer per hour. In the same direction, same direction D it's a key word for me to solve the question. Same direction يعني الاتنين ماشيين في اتجاه واحد. So, this one is moving in this direction and this one is moving in the same direction. طيب, مني إيه? The speed of the car A, calculate the speed of the car A relative to this, the passenger in the car B. لو أنا في passenger قاعد هنا, يعني إيه passenger? يعني راكب, واحد راكب في الكار B. وعايز يحسب the speed of this car A 
وهو قاعد عايز يشوف السرعه احنا قلنا قبل كده قلنا هم they are moving in the same direction عندي calculation mathematical relation سهلة جدا I said same direction subtraction I'm going to make subtraction to the, to the, two, the two speeds هعمل minus للسبيد الكار A minus speed of the car B so here the answer 80 minus 50 So the answer is 30 km per hour. يعني أنا if I get an example like that, answer it alone and then look to the choices and see what are the choices. نشوف بقى هو مديني choices A. Is it 50 or 80 or 30 or 130 km per hour? I'm excellent. أنا أنا I solve it first, which is the answer is 30 km per hour. Okay, we'll key on the same direction. I will subtract both speeds and then I get the result. Let's go and see next example. A car moving on a straight line covers total distance in a total time t. So the average speed of the car is given by. Is it the speed? Is it distance over time? ولا distance time time ولا ال speed time divided distance. So here the two answers are confusing. لازم أبقى عارفة distance up and the time down. So I will choose this answer. Next question here. Another type of choose, but in the case of شكل الجراف بس هو he didn't draw to me the graph. قال لي on recording the results of an experiment in which an object moves. The result were as follow. I'm only table for the results. Distance and time. Distance and time. Distance and time. Tab. Shall I try? Anna. Anna. I will draw it. Yes, of course. It's very easy. This is the axis, and this is the distance, and this is the time. So the first given here, that the body at the first second covering ten. Hamid kida masan ke na haaji one second, two second, three second. Here. 10, 20, and then 30. Only for the first second, whistle the 10. I'm dot here. For the second, here, 20, and then in the third, in the third second, amal 30. Then I try to connect the dots together, but I have to pass with the origin, which is a zero point. So I have straight line passing with the origin. Very easy. Is it uniform deceleration, which is negative, acceleration, or uniform acceleration, or the body move with uniform speed? Taban. After we draw it, we know the answer, which is the body move with uniform speed. Now, let's go and sum up what we took in this episode and see. In this uh, session, or in this episode, we revised unit one together, and we took the definitions and measurement units and uh, some types of problems. Uh, thank you so much for being with me today, and we are going to meet again in the next type, our next uh, episode, to complete our revision. See you, and goodbye.